morning class. Happy Wednesday. I'm so glad to be back with you. We're going to start off with our days of the week song. So here we go. It's Sunday and it's Monday. It's Tuesday and it's Wednesday. It's Thursday and it's Friday. And then it's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, let's try to do our Spanish version. If you want to look over here, they're written over here still, or maybe you've memorized it, or maybe you need more practice like Miss Coza. So here we go. It's Domingo and it's Lunes. It's Martes and it's Miracles. It's Jueves and it's Viernes. And then it's Sabado. Dia de la Semana. Dia de la Semana. Dia de la semana, dia de la semana, dia de la semana. Great job. Okay, so last time we met, it was Monday. It is now Wednesday. So let's see the pattern and reveal it, and then we'll say our date. Last time was a cat. It was addition. If you look at the pattern, predict what you think would be next. If you thought it was a word problem, you are correct. This is not our word problem today, but if you want to solve this, you absolutely can. Sam got six toys for his cat. One of the toys is a ball. The rest are toy mice. How many of the toys are mice? Hmm, I wonder what you think. That's a word problem. And then today is a subtraction problem. It is a cute little dog, the 16th, and our subtraction problem is seven, take away four. Before we figure that out, let's go ahead and say our date. So class, yes, today is Wednesday, September 16th, 2020. And we have the rest of this week, we have one more week, and then we go on a very long fall break. So if we think about seven takeaway four, it would be wonderful if you wrote that on your board, seven, let's see, just close this board. It is an equation. Here we go, we can write the equation, seven takeaway Take away means you have seven of something and you're taking away something from it. We're not adding, we're taking away. Subtraction. Seven take away four equals. Seven take away four equals. How would you figure that out? There are so many different ways and strategies. You could draw seven dots like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven dots. You take away four, one, two, three, four. How many are left? There are three dots left. If you think three, you are correct. There's also another way you can do it. Well, there's a few, but one more way I'm gonna show you is counting backwards. So you still take that big number seven, seven, and you count backwards four times, four on your finger. Whatever you say out of your mouth is your answer. So here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three. So my answer is three. I took away four of my fingers. So three is the answer. Great. So follow me and now we will write our date. Okay, so now we're going to write our date. Today is Wednesday. We capitalize Wednesday, of course. That was a very tall, skinny W. Bwa. Ed N Ness Day. Here's Wednesday, so go ahead and copy that. And then it is Wednesday. I'm gonna move this down here. Um, it's still the ninth month of September. You can do nine dash. It is the sixteenth one six dash 2020. Okay. And then to write the big long word September. Do you remember how to spell that? Capital S. E. Sep. P. P. T. 
E, m, and then b, er. Whenever you hear that sound er, it's always e r er. September er. Okay, great. And the last time we met, we were in school for 42 days. Since then, we've added one, two days. So 42 plus two equals. Go ahead and write that equation, or you can do it in your brain. What is 42 plus two? I'm gonna count up, 42, 43, 44. So our answer is 44. Let's practice writing the word 44. What does that look like if we were to write it out? 44 looks like this, F. Or, oh look, there's a sight word in it, four, T. And then a Y, that says 40, and then four, F, O, U, R. I'll move that closer. Ah! Move that closer to you, so you can see it closer. I'm just gonna fling it across the room. 44, there we are. And 44, so that means if we have 44, there's our number 44. We have how many tens? 10, 20, 30, 40. We still have one, two, three, four fours. And how many ones should we have? We should have four ones. Right now, we only have one, two. So we're gonna have two more ones. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna sing the months of the year song. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of our year. Okay, the last time we met, we were spinning on a spinner trying to catch cats and dogs. If we landed on the cat, four cats. If we landed on the dog, that would equal one dog caught. Last time we met, we caught 10 cats plus two dogs, two. And we came up with, all together, 10 plus two equals, and we came up with 12. So far we have 12 all together. Today we're gonna to spin and we're gonna add it to the collection of animals that we are collecting that are running wild on the streets. Okay, here we go. And based on the spinner, the probability of it landing on a dog is less, I would say, than the cat because they're such a big part of the pie. Okay. Oh my goodness, it actually landed on a dog. It swiveled down, but it did. Okay, so we're gonna add one dog and we're gonna spin one more time to a cat, so four cats. So I'm gonna add, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, which gives us a whole new number. So let's say, we're gonna erase that. How many cats do we have? Well, we know that each row is five, so we can count, we can count by fives, and then move to our one. So five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, we have 14 cats plus how many dogs? One, two, three. Go ahead and write that equation on your whiteboard. 14 plus three. What is 14 plus three? Take a moment, pause the video to figure that out. I think I'm gonna write some tens and ones to help me solve. Here's a tens, here's a ones, here's my ones. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You have, we have caught 17 animals all together. Great job. Um, that is all we have for calendar. Check out the seesaw. I'm going to put some subtraction in there so you can practice with some subtraction. Okay, have a nice Wednesday.